and we are live um dude because of popular demand i am making this episode um specifically to address the floyd mayweather situation with uh logan paul jake paul the paul brothers what do i make of the situation very simple um Everybody does something for a reason, a why. There's a why to everything. Why do you work out to get big? Why do you work to make money? Um, why are you friends with the friends that you have to be happy? Um, Floyd Mayweather has a very specific why. He has a very specific motive. Floyd Money Mayweather. This is all to make money. Um, for people saying, oh, he's the greatest boxer of all time, this is beneath him. You're, you're right. It is a little bit corny. But his motive, his why is to make money. And to someone who doesn't offer anything of a challenge, not one ounce. Um, how do you get people involved? How do you get people to help generate money? You have something that's controversial, something that's outlandish. And that's what this is. Am I saying it's staged? It is a little bit weird that the greatest boxer of all time, who um, is very good at staying poised, calm and composed in the most uh, chaotic situations, lost his cool over someone who doesn't even offer a threat. Um, yeah, that's a little weird. But no matter what the motive is, I am talking about it. You guys are watching it. And what is that money and Floyd Money Mayweather's pocket? Very simple. That is the pure agenda, pure why of this whole situation. So there's nothing really to speculate more or less. I'm not appalled by it. I'm not surprised by it. Um, I expect more of this. I expect more chaotic events, uh, more controversial things said. Um, more antics being thrown in both ways. Floyd, obviously, he portrayed himself to be very upset, wanted to fight him right then and there. This is, this is Floyd Money Mayweather. He is a brilliant marketer. He is a brilliant guy when it comes to marketing his events to his fights. Um, whether it was Conor McGregor or it's Manny Pacquiao or it's, um, the list goes on and on. He's fought the who's who. Um, he's the greatest Arguably the greatest to ever do it. Definitely the greatest defensive fighter to ever do it. But here, here's the approach that I want people to understand. So there's two ways to stand on. There's two fence. There's two sides to this. Do you stand on the side of a? I'm a boxing purist. I don't like this. Um, it's not good for the the state of boxing. Um, you have fighters who grew up training's five, six, seven years old, and they don't get the attention, the money, or the opportunities that somebody like Jake Paul is getting. If you're a boxing purist, you're not going to like this fight. You're not going to like this event. Just plain and simple, this is not for you. Um, and from that angle, this is bad for boxing. If you're somebody who wants entertainment and you're somebody who wants to have an event to watch that weekend and bet money on a fight, this event is good for you. It's good for boxing because now you're getting more eyes, more spectators. You're getting Jake Paul, Logan Paul's following on YouTube and you're getting it to boxing. Um, so if you just want an entertainment, um, spectacle, this is that, um, Jake Paul fighting Nate Robinson, Jake Paul fighting Ben Askren, whether you like him or not, it's entertaining because you want to see him get, you want to see him lose. You want to see him get knocked out, right? He's cocky. He's arrogant. Um, he's stepping on a bunch of people's toes. He's whatever reason you come up with why you don't like him. You're tuned in because you want to see him lose. And if you're a supporter of his because of YouTube and you like his material, you like his content, you're tuned in to see him win. So from an entertainment perspective, especially after these series of events of grabbing the hat and saying, I got your hat and so on and so forth, we're going to watch it. We are. We're going to see Floyd knock out Logan Paul. Um, and now there's a couple things I want to bring to light. Logan Paul is an athlete. Logan Paul actually fought Paul Acosta in training and he did pretty good I mean he got knocked out it's a UFC fighter and a legitimate UFC fighter but he held his own a lot more than the average citizen would um, he has a wrestling background he's a big dude he's athletic he's strong he's a good athlete Jake Paul has legitimate fundamental skills to boxing am I saying he's an all-time great no um, but he has legitimate skills he has legitimate power so I want to just bring that to light for people that want to bash them because they are very easy. They're a very easy target to bash, right? I covered the UFC in Jacksonville and there's just a whole chant throughout the whole event of F Jake Paul. He's marketed himself brilliantly as a villain and he's owned the role of that, which is generating him money. But if you just look from a pure, just a pure boxing standpoint of his skill set, he has legitimate skills. Granted, he hasn't fought anybody. 
Nate Robinson's not a boxer. Um, ben Askren, this is interesting. So Ben Askren, for people who don't know who Ben Askren was, never a UFC champion, but he was very successful in every other organization as a champion. He did fight in the UFC. He lost to Jorge Masvidal, which is what one of the famous knockouts for Jorge Masvidal, like very quick flying knee. But he can't actually take a punch. He took a punch from Robbie Lawler, survived it, won via rear naked choke first round. But his specialty was never, ever, ever striking. He was never a advanced striker. Uh, via hands, Muay Thai, kickboxing, he never was winning his fights on the feet. He was never knocking anybody out. He was a well-decorated, well-established wrestler where if he was able to get you to the ground, he controlled you, he submitted you, and he dominated you. He fought a smart fight. And for a very long time in his career, that really worked. But he was never a boxer. So for one, you're already taking two different sports, which people, I don't think people understand how hard it is to cross over to another sport, let alone a combat sport, but you're taking someone who never had a fundamental base of boxing or striking. Like at least Conor McGregor has elite power, elite accuracy, elite timing, and elite speed. Um, and he's a knockout artist in MMA. So when he went over to boxing, granted he fought the greatest defensive boxer of all time in Floyd, he, you're like, okay, we've seen him strike and knock people out. So we know he has that in his arsenal, in his bag. Ben Asker never had that in his bag. So not only is he going to a different sport, he was never known to be a striker, but he has the title of a UFC fighter. He has the title of a competitor. He has the title of a wrestler. So that's what made it intriguing. And not to take anything away from Jake, Jake knocked him out. But this event is just confusing for me that people are so surprised by it because you're taking a guy whose motive is to make money. And you're taking a guy in Logan Paul, the Jake Paul, the, the Paul brothers. Their motive is to get you to talk about them. It's, their motive is to generate publicity, money. It helps their their views. It helps their money. It helps future events. He wants to fight Connor someday. Um, any future matchups. So they continue to beat these people. Jake continues to beat these people. And he's getting the following and the attraction and the views behind it. The backing then he has the leverage to then say, I want to fight this guy, and he has a greater chance of it happening and coming to fruition. So it's smart mar marketing on both ends. But, again, to say Floyd is the greatest, arguably the greatest boxer of all time, you could say Sugar Ray Leonard, you have the Muhammad Ali's, you have the Floyd Mayweather's. And for him to allow, quote-unquote, these YouTubers to kind of disrespect him to stoop down to their level and even make this an event, I do understand how that is corny. I do understand. It's like, really, you're, you're Floyd Mayweather. Why are you even doing this? I get it. I get it. So like I said, if you stand on the purest side, you don't like any of this, probably never going to tune into the fight. You already know what's going to happen. If, you're an, if you are a fan of entertainment, then you will watch this because you want to see this guy get knocked out. Now, I want to break down the actual fight. Seems simple, right? The greatest defensive boxer of all time, even though he's 40 plus years old, it's an exhibition, and you're taking Logan. Now, if you watch Logan, I think he boxed, what, KSI, the other YouTuber. I told you he was an athlete. He compete. He, know, he knows wrestling, but he's not a decorated or as established or fundamentally sound as Jake Paul when it comes to pure boxing. But he's bigger. He's taller. He's a big dude. Um, clearly bigger than Floyd Mayweather. You're boxing Floyd. And one thing that I will always tip my hat off to Floyd, and it's such an amazing quality that he has, no matter how much money he makes, no matter how much he's in the headlines, no matter what distraction you think he has going on, he is always working. He is always preparing the right way. He'll show you that he's eating McDonald's. He'll show you all the money that he has. He'll brag about his undefeated record, but he will outwork you. Like, they say he went to the club, but he'll run back from the club. He knows what he's doing. So even though he's portraying me, uh, the not training that hard, he has mastered the the art of preparing for the fight. And he does it. And he does it every time. And that is such a hard thing to do. Uh, you see a lot of champions, once you become a champion, you get stagnant. And all these contenders who want your title are hungry, and they evolve, and they find your weaknesses. He's always evolved, he, and he's always stayed hungry, and he's always stayed ahead of the curve. So no matter what problem you may have against Floyd, you can't ever question that. 50 and 0, and even if you want to say, all oh, that Connor fight shouldn't count, 49 and 0, um, really only got hurt once in his like, whole career. 
it, it, it's unbelievable. And so when you actually break down the fight and just get all the hoopla out of it and just like, okay, hey, how's this boxing fight going to go, Max? Floyd will just know exactly how not to get hit, just how to get Logan tired. It, it's not. Granted, it's a huge size difference. Granted, Floyd is older. Um, granted, Logan's in his athletic prime, like via his age. You're talking about the greatest defensive fighter of all time. You're, you're talking about arguably the greatest boxer of all time. He is a master at his craft. You can make the argument he is better at his craft than anybody is at their own. Anybody. Michael Jordan's lost. Like, he's lost. I know he's 6-0 in the finals. He lost in the playoffs. LeBron's lost in the finals. Tom Brady's lost in the Super Bowl. Tiger Woods has lost the Masters. Serena Williams has lost. He's never lost. Ever. 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 And that's just such an unbelievable thing to do in such an unpredictable sport um, that's such that takes such a toll on your body. And to fight for 50 fights, and it's unbelievable. So, again, I get it. I wanted to break this down for you guys because I think a lot of people are like, oh, what do you make of this? What does this mean? It doesn't mean anything. It's exactly what he wanted. You and I are now talking about it. I have it on my podcast. Um, and we're now we're entertained. And now we're intrigued. Next press conference, what happens? Is he really that mad? Uh, is Jake Paul going to do this again? What is Logan going to say this time? That's exactly what they want because it's money in their pockets. Um, but I appreciate you guys tuning in to this emergency podcast. Uh, we also have I have a bunch of guests coming up, a uh, stacked week. So please download, rate, and subscribe to the Mac Van Auken podcast on any podcast platform. Um, also on YouTube, Max Van Auken. And this is also um, some big news coming up. Also some big news. We've got Connor, Dustin, so really good stuff. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. And like always, 